What's going on everyone? In this video, I'll be sharing with you all my computer science degree thus far. Now to give context, I have one semester of computer science left before I officially get my bachelor's of science in computer science. So I'm going to share with you all what it took me to get to this point. With computer science being one of the most sought after majors, everyone wants to get that paper, that degree, that guarantees them that six figure job right outside of college. Now I go to the University of Maryland College Park, which is ranked number 16 in computer science in America. And at this college, we are required to take seven to eight semesters of computer science. So let's start from semester one. My first ever computer science class I took in college was Object Oriented Programming 2. Now, if you're familiar with AP Computer Science, that is Object Oriented Programming 1. And since I was able to get a five on that, I could automatically jump into Object Oriented Programming 2 right in my first semester of college. In this class, we learned all the fundamentals of computer science, including linked lists, uh, other data structures, how to process binary trees, multi-threading, um, using hash maps, hashing in general, everything. Honestly, after taking this class, I felt like I could just drop out of college and become a full-fledged software engineer. The class was pretty straightforward and I did end up getting a 199 out of 200 on my final. So I can say all in all, it wasn't that hard of a class. In general, OOP isn't too bad, especially in the fundamental levels. And Java was a pretty easy language to master. Now, that was the only semester of college where I only had one computer science class. Every single semester since then, I've always had two. Now, heading into our second semester of college, I took CMSC 216, which is Introduction to Computer Systems, and CMSC 250, which is Discrete Structures. Let's start with 216, this class. This class right here caused anxiety, distress, stress, feelings of wanting to quit computer science, all because, drum roll please, it was primarily in C, and we all hate C. C is a very low level language, and in this class, we dealt with memory allocation, pointers, referencing, and we also had to code in assembly, which is the most low level you could possibly go when it comes to computer science. Like, assembly was. But I will say, since this class focuses so much on how a computer works internally, how memory is stored, how programs are working behind the scenes, it was very interesting and it developed a new perspective for me on understanding how are my programs actually working. How can I make sure my program is as fast as possible, is not using too much memory, am I debarsing pointers correctly, am I using memory, am I managing memory correctly? Bunch of memory stuff to be honest. And after taking this class, I felt more knowledgeable about how a computer is working in general. And honestly, in computer science, it's not all about programming, but also understanding how things are working behind the scenes. Now, CMC 250, it was proofs, 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 and when you thought it was over, more proofs. The one thing about this class that was kind of annoying was that we had packets upon packets of work. Homework was very long, it would take three to four hours sometimes because these proofs weren't easy, right? There were problems you had to generally figure out. Like for example, I think one of the problems was if n is odd, prove that n cubed is odd. And now this is actually really easy, but at the time it was kind of hard figuring out how to really prove that because n is odd and cubed is odd. I know this is like one of those things where it's like, why does a triangle have three sides? You're like, just, just look at it, bro, it's, it has three sides. But no, you have to prove it. And this can be very annoying. Now there is one special thing about this class and that is the fact that our professor kind of went crazy. Yeah, so this could be a whole story time in itself, but quick summary, our professor called us, yeah, he did because COVID hit and everyone was really upset that everything was super hard. The exams were hard, the homework was hard. And he said, stop crying like, ah, yeah, and then he got fired. Anyways, moving on to the next semester. Now, before we move on, I would like to thank today's sponsor, Cuddle Crew. Cuddle Crew is an up and coming NFT collection that is due to release January 4th. And they're a very cool collection with a very cool community. You can basically get a free mint if you mint these items on time. And these NFTs look very sick. The art is amazing. The team is amazing. So I highly recommend joining the Discord link in the description below to get that free mint and automatically make some money. Plus they're cuddly and it's cute. Now my next two classes were CMSC 351, which is algorithms and CMSC 330, which is organization programming languages. Now let's start with algorithms. Algorithms was the hardest computer science class I ever took at my university. In fact, it is ranked one of the hardest classes in general at my university. But in this class, we were taught how to approach computer science problems and write algorithms to solve these problems. But it wasn't just any algorithm. We had to make sure we understood time complexity, which is like on, on squared, on cubed, and so on. We also had to understand space complexity. So basically, we had to write the most efficient algorithms we possibly could to solve a problem. For example, say we had a problem where we had to find the max sum in an array between a couple of numbers then if you made an algorithm that was n squared then you were an okay programmer but if you made an algorithm that was o n then you were a great programmer so being able to write the most efficient algorithm was basically the essence of this class and it was kind of just a bunch of leak code problems that we did by hand that's really all it was but this class although it was very hard and had a 50 percent failure rate 
it definitely prepped us well for interviews and as a result i feel like i've been really well equipped to do my computer science interviews for internships now cmsc 330 i really like this class because we were able to explore a bunch of different languages including ruby rust ocaml uh, python and speaking of OCaml, I don't know about you guys, but I never heard of that language in my life until I took this class, which was kind of cool. Like we were able to learn new languages that we probably won't use ever again, but it was cool for the time being. One of my favorite parts about this class was the very cool projects that we had. For example, one of the projects was a lexer and a parser written in OCaml. So basically what we had to do was we used OCaml to write a lexer and a parser in the lexer. It took in user input and tokenized that input. And the parser took those tokens and interpreted them as C. So in other words, we wrote a mini C compiler, which was fascinating at the time. Like we wrote a compiler and these things are hard, but projects like this made the class very fun. The professor was really cool. And all in all, it was a very good experience. And I would definitely recommend taking that class. It's also required. Now I should put in that I do have a machine learning concentration, which basically means with my degree of computer science, I will have machine learning concentration next to it, which means that I am heavily specialized in the machine learning field of computer science. And that ties into my next two classes that I took, which is Introduction to Data Science, CMSC 320, and CMSC 426, which is Computer Vision. Now, CMSC 320 was a very chill class. The professor was really cool. He was actually a Twitch streamer, so, you know, the class was chill vibes only. But in CMSC 320, what we did was we wrote models, we used Python to uh, uh, filter data sets, uh, interpret data sets, categorize them, clean them. And we use these data sets to eventually make models, interpret those models, and just do what data scientists do, which is make a bunch of graphs. The best part of this class was the final project, which I did in a group of three. What we did was we created a NBA Hall of Fame predictor where we took two data sets, we cleaned them, and we used those data sets to make a machine learning algorithm, which basically took a current NBA player and decided or predicted whether they will be a future Hall of Famer based on the stats of current Hall of Famers. This was a very cool project. I learned a lot. It was like over a thousand lines of code. Uh, the link is in my description below as well. So be sure to check that out. And now computer vision was probably my second hardest computer science class. And honestly, the content wasn't even that hard. The professor just wasn't that great of a professor slash lecturer. So it's kind of hard understanding the concepts and it ended up becoming a research class where we literally researched every single topic and almost self-taught ourselves the class, which is crazy, especially since computer vision is pretty, pretty deep into content. But in this class, we use advanced machine learning algorithms for various purposes. For example, one of the coolest projects I've ever done was in this class was where we took a database of faces and we used these databases to create a model. And what this model did was it found a matching face based on the selected face that was given using the data set of faces. So if I gave a face of myself, it would use all the database of faces and it will see hey which face most closely matches my face and this was the coolest thing ever like amazing and this class also taught me that math is very important because we learned about your covariance matrices we learned about matrices in general vector addition vector multiplication and a bunch of linear algebra so when they say computer science you don't need math that's that's so fun now my next semester which is my last semester that i just finished i took two more classes which is computer network security and I took machine learning. Computer network security is one of my hardest computer science classes, but it was also my favorite. In this class, we learned a lot about um, security and this class was based primarily in C, but as well as some SQL. Uh, we learned about encryption, decryption, internet protocols, various attacks such as internet-based attacks, buffer overflow attacks, and a bunch of more. Now this class was very low level and nitty gritty. At one point we were literally checking memory addresses in hex and seeing how we could overwrite a memory address with our own information and how we can overwrite a register with our own value. It was some crazy stuff, but it really taught us how to hack you know, everything, honestly. And since I programmed checkout bots, taking this class just opened my eyes to a bunch of new possibilities of how I can get past security legally. But yeah, this class was really fun. Like really showed us how to be a black hat hacker, which for good or for bad uh, is good. And then my next class was machine learning, which basically taught us everything about machine learning, algorithms, how to process data, uh, the math involved, how to take derivatives, gradient descent, everything. But in this class, we took a very deep dive into machine learning and all the algorithms associated with it. For example, we learned about the K-means clustering algorithm, the nearest neighbors, SVM, uh, kernels. We learned about how important math is, again, because we had to do a bunch of math by hand to uh, answer problems for like gradient descent and um, kernels, kernels and convolution filters. And some of this stuff may make sense, some of the stuff may not make sense, but if you take machine learning, you know what I'm talking about. But these are the classes I, I took so far. I only have two more classes and next semester I'll be taking natural language processing 
and iOS development, which I'm really excited for. And then I will officially have my bachelor's in computer science, which is very exciting to think about. Like, wow, that's amazing. But when I look back at this journey and I think about the seven, eight hour coding sessions and sometimes the all nighters, uh, talking to my friends about how we all just failed the exam. It was honestly a very wonderful journey and I wouldn't trade it for the world. I don't regret anything even the long nights, because at the end of the day, it was a process that made me who I am today. But for those who are interested in computer science, pursue it, don't give up, and trust me, you'll do great.